we all have heroes in the world, and mine is, without a doubt, Frank Whittle, the inventor of the gas turbine engine that later, of course, became known as the jet engine. And if anybody disputes that Frank invented the jet engine, write to me personally and I'll argue with you. The jet engine changed the modern world. And not only is it one of the most important inventions of our era on this planet, it is also amazing. The jet engine uses one moving part. Everything from the compressor to the turbine is joined. So everything moves together. It's incredibly simple. But for years, this was the motive power of the modern airplane. And we love it. It was a bit noisy. And you have to remember, before the jet engine, was the propeller engine. Amazingly, it turns out that propellers are actually more efficient than a jet. Who remembers flying on the Vickers Viscount, a turboprop airplane? Turboprops are incredibly efficient. If you don't want to go supersonic and you want to take passengers to holiday destinations, Put a propeller in front of a jet engine. The combination of the jet simplicity and the efficiency of a rotating propeller. You've got a winner. This was well known, and it was only a matter of time until the propeller and jet combination, the turboprop, the propeller was encased in a duct. So-called fan ducted engines are really the basis of all jet transport. But there's an issue. Let's go back to Frank. He's a wonderful invention that of one moving part means that the hot bit at the end goes round at the same speed as the cold bit at the front. So in a fan ducted engine, you've got this very fast rotating jet engine turning this enormous fan on one shaft. What the problem is, is the tips of the propeller in the duct can go so fast that they break the speed of sound. And when you get that compressibility of the sound barrier, you get drag. So there's a maximum RPM that you can make a fan. Wouldn't it be amazing if the jet and the fan could rotate at different speeds? Wow. Enter this guy from Pratt & Whitney. For over 35 years, and with 70 patents to his name, he has invented the geared engine. This is how the geared turbofan jet engine works. Jet engines use a simple combustion system to drive a large fan. The fan produces most of the thrust in the engine, and it uses air that bypasses the engine core to produce that thrust. Air that moves through the core of the engine is compressed and combusted. The resulting combusted gas drives a turbine, which in turn drives the fan. In a conventional engine, the fan and turbine rotate at the same speed, on the same shaft, which really limits the efficiency of both components. In a geared turbofan engine, a gearbox enables the fan and turbine to run at different speeds. A smaller, faster turbine makes the engine shorter and lighter, and thus more efficient. A larger, slower fan lets the engine push more air, meaning more thrust, using less fuel. The slower moving air also makes the engine much, much quieter. So the advantages of a geared, fan-ducted jet engine, amazing. You've got the high-speed jet and the low-speed fan. I should actually get my fingers working the other way, because when we see them, we're gonna see something a bit odd. You've got the high-speed jet and the low-speed fan. Counter-rotation. This is because they have a gear section that takes the high-speed rotation of the jet bit and makes a low-speed fan bit. The advantages of this amazing development are mainly efficiency, but incredibly, they're so quiet. 
So Pratt and Whitney have come up with a geared engine, and Rolls Royce are working on one too, I guess with slightly different patterns. They're so confident in the geared engine design that they gave a set to Airbus, who are experimenting with fitting them on their A320 series. Guess who aren't going to fit them to their new plane? Yep, Boeing Max 8 series. No geared engines. A high efficiency engine, but not geared. Seems to me that geared engines are the future, so get with it, Boeing. So all of you, and I mean everyone out there, knows more about geared engines than I do. But I brought the topic to you because the truth is out there.